Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of uh, Cleaning the Gold by Karen Slaughter and Lee Child. Uh, I basically picked this up just because the concept of it really fascinated me. It's Jack Reacher and Will Trent are both in this, um, and it's a co-written book by kind of two of the giants of crime fiction. I'm not a particular fan of either author, really. I've never really read them. I think I've read one Karen Slaughter and no Lee Child. The Karen Slaughter that I read was a novella as well, and uh, this... I would say is actually just a short story as opposed to a novella. It's not really long enough to be a novella. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the blurb. Then I've made a few tabs here that I'm going to share with you guys. And then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, get ready for a turbocharged short read from two of the world's biggest thriller writers. Jack Reacher and Will Trent. Twice the action, twice the drama, double the trouble. Will Trent is undercover at Fort Knox. His assignment? To investigate a 22-year-old murder. His suspect's name? Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher is in Fort Knox on his own mission to bring down a dangerous criminal ring operating at the heart of America's military. Except now Will Trent is on the scene. But there's a bigger conspiracy at play. One that neither the special agent nor the ex-military cop could have anticipated. And the only option is for Jack Reacher and Will Trent to team up and play nicely, if they can. So there's a lot of um, Fort Knoxy stuff here. Uh, this also, it predates social distancing, but it made me chuckle. The oil on your hands can corrode or tarnish the finish, diminishing the value. When handling, it's recommended that you wear lint-free cotton gloves. Masks are required because the moisture from your breath or saliva can leave spots that can't be removed. The guy listening to uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit says, The radio was already up loud, but Baldani twisted the knob higher because nothing proved you were a badass like blowing out a subwoofer with Smells Like Teen Spirit. I thought this was interesting too, I don't know if this is true or not, but I can imagine it being true. The general public always thought of cold cases as impossible to solve. They weren't completely wrong, but oftentimes, Will found that the passage of time gave witnesses more perspective. Mostly it came down to the simple fact that they weren't scared anymore. The bullies and thugs who'd intimidated them had either died young or ended up in prison. Marriages dissolved. Love ran out. Reputations were damaged or rebuilt. In short, a long stretch of time could lend more focus to past events. Get a reference to the uh, Gutenberg Bible. Baldani says they kept a copy of the Magna Carta here during World War II. The original US Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. I heard they even stockpiled morphine during the, during the Cold War. Ow, you little dickhead. We get some more music references here. Uh, up ahead, Baldani turned another corner. The music was louder. Hoover stank, which was some kind of crime. And then later on, the reason stopped mid-wine, or maybe Will lost his sense of hearing. I like the way that this sentence here is written as well. Uh, back in 1997, DNA testing had been in its infancy, and onerously expensive for most police forces. Now you could practically pull a fart out of the crack in a vinyl chair and have it processed within 24 hours. The only thing I will say, it looks, it's even shorter than it looks. All of this bit here is a sample of uh, The Last Widow from Karen Slaughter. Uh, so it's only actually 82 pages long, but um, yeah, it was fun enough, and I picked it up from a charity shop for a pound here. I mean, it's only 3.99, brand new. Uh, I do think it's cool because you can't necessarily tell which one of them wrote, you know, which part, um, which is always a good sign when people co-wrote a novel, you know. Um, I just think it's too short. I mean, it feels as though it's the start of a novel and then it just stops, you know. So. Um, and also, I think maybe they went in a bit too hard on the Fort Knox stuff. Um, I mean, one of, the, one of the characters even, like, summons his knowledge from Wikipedia, and it feels like that they both just went on Wikipedia and maybe didn't even visit it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was alright, a bit gimmicky. Uh, I gave it, like, 3.25 out of 5. And I, but I probably will read more by both uh, authors again in the future, and Karen Slaughter in particular, I'm quite interested in. So there we have it, that's what I made of Cleaning the Gold by Karen Slaughter and Lee Child. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.